I want to talk about, I don't know why I did that little strange head movement there, I'm rather strange, uh, I want to talk about a, a classic horror film um, called Suspiria. Now it was uh, released in 1977, it's directed by uh, Dario Argento and um, it's just, it's incredible, it really really is. Um, the film is uh, about a girl, uh, Susie, who uh, goes to a, a, a German sort of ballet school and it's like a sort of boarding uh, school as well so she stays there while she's there and um, on, her way, on her way there she uh, starts to see things that seem a little bit you know unusual she sees a girl running out of the school and and then when she's traveling she's told that she can't stay at the school for that night she's got to go and stay somewhere else when she is um, Travelling back, she looks in the woods and she sees a, a girl uh, running through the woods, and she just sort of, you know, it's a strange sort of experience. Um, eventually, what happens is that she gets to uh, she gets to stay with a, a another girl who is who's on her uh, in the ballet school, and uh, things sort of build up from there, where you're starting to question what the institute is and who's running it and is there something really suspicious going on. Um, I don't really want to ruin uh, ruin any of it but there are some, along the way you know there are a few people die in some rather gruesome ways and um, yeah you start, it, it very much is a thriller um, but what I have to stress about this film is that the plot is secondary and normally that's like a big no-no for me, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm really a, you know, I'm a big fan of, of a plot, of a good story. Uh, it's important for me for, for a story to be gripping and entertaining and then anything else that comes from that, any sort of artistic flair is great along with that but, you know, I normally, most of the time, need the story to be there but in this case, not really. Um, there are a lot of holes in the story, a lot of times it just doesn't really make much sense. But this is this film, Suspiria, is a true uh, artistic accomplishment. The film is incredibly beautifully shot. I mean, it's I know I keep saying that about some films, but this really is one of the 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 uh, aesthetically most pleasing horror films ever made. You know, and and arguably maybe in any genre. You know. Um, I need to stop talking with my hands a little, I'm doing a wee dance. Um, you don't want to see me dancing, it's, uh, yeah, it's bad. That's a horror film, eh? Do you see what I did there? Um, and, sorry. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the film, is the, the, the soundtrack is, is fantastic. Um, and you can see, while it was in 1977, I think you can see that, you know, John Carpenter has cited uh, Dario Argento's work as a, a an influence on him, and I think you can you can see that in a lot of the shots that he's used, um, a lot of the framing of his shots, and yeah, like I say, the plot is pushed to the side. It's just a sort of visceral assault on the senses, um, and uh, but but at the same time, some people say that it's not scary. Uh, and while I can understand why some people say that, you know, I, I think the film is really creepy. Um, it's not uncomfortably creepy, but it, it, it's it's not, uh, you know, one of these horror films where there's, you know, the, the cosy horror films where you're not really frightened. It, it is, I think it's a really creepy film. I think it's, I think it does have some frightening moments. I think it does have some good scares, some good jump out moments. Um, there are elements from other genre, other subgenres in horror. You have like the, 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 especially near the beginning of the film. There's a sort of slasher type aspect to it, um, which you know you can really attach to uh, Italian cinema of, of, of this this era. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's one of the best horror films ever made. Yes, it's not terrifying, but uh, it's. I think one of the things that some people might find put off is it's, you know, very much, you know, what some people would maybe call a spaghetti horror, um, like the spaghetti westerns, there were people that they would film who couldn't speak very good English, 
and or they would, couldn't speak English at all and they would use those actors and actresses and then they would dub over those parts and um, <clears throat> they would almost entirely replace the, 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 the whole soundtrack so there are like lip syncing issues and things like that but really that shouldn't put you off I mean if you've watched any of uh, any uh, of the Man With No Name films you know Good, The Bad and Ugly etc I mean, they're all fantastic and it really shouldn't bother you um, but yeah Suspiria a, a, an absolute assault on the senses um, the plot doesn't really matter that much but I don't think the plot is as threadbare as people make out it's just more that it's all about atmosphere and vibe and, and that's what's important to this film um, and it really is uh, a fairy tale it feels like a fairy tale it feels very sort of surreal and, and, and well throughout most of it um, must see though you must see Dario Argento's Suspiria um, so check it out